Welcome to our drink of Obscurio called Storm Brewing. Okay. Uh, we've got Dan with us again. He is going to be our mixologist for today. So Dan, let's take it away. The Storm Brewing, what are we making? All right, let's get started. So the Storm Brewing, we're going with that for Obscurio, because Obscurio is sort of a bunch of witches and wizards, and you're stuck in a library trying to escape. So we thought it's got sort of this sort of dark, brooding, stormy sort of vibe. So that's what we tried to get with our drink. So we're starting off with spiced rum. We're using Kraken, any spiced rum, or even dark rum will work if that's what you've got. It's... I mean, the spiced rum works particularly well, so we're using ginger beer, so sort of spiced rum, spices in the ginger beer, it works really nice. If you've got it, great, if not, any other rum will do, just sort of trying to make sure that these are nice and easy for everyone to make at home, so you guys can enjoy them as much as we do. Um, so you're on with one shot of that, and then we're getting lime juice, and we just use the pouches because it's a lot easier, you can just keep this in the fridge. If you've got fresh limes and you can squeeze those, then great. Um, it, it really works all the same. Um, so we're doing half a shot of that. Put that in. See, it's already got that nice dark colour. Now we're going to add our lovely little ice cube, which we've got nice and hidden from you guys, so you can't see it. But there's our ice. I'm just going to drop that in nice and slow so we don't get anything. Right, so there's what we're looking at now, and we're just going to top this up with our ginger beer. So we're using Bundaberg for this, but again, any ginger beer that you've got will work. You could use an alcoholic ginger beer if you want to really go for it, whatever works for you. And we're just going to pour about five shots worth in this. I'd say that's about all right. Get our spoon and just stir that through. And here's where we get to the fun part. I'm just going to bring this back over here. To get a sort of stormy effect, we put another layer of the dark rum on top. And this will sort of float at the top and will sort of give us a bit more of that dark look. So you just go get a little bar spoon or a teaspoon will work. Sort of hold it up against the glass and then pour in about a shot's worth. And you'll see it'll just sort of start to float along the top. Oh, and that is our storm brewing. So, all on the side, you can see we've got the layering ring down the bottom with ginger beer and uh, the premix, and then just that extra shot that sits on top. There's a sexy drink. And we'll put it over into and get it some nice shots. So, basically, um, it goes well with the, the browns of the, the game, but it's also very quick and easy to make as well. So, um, obviously, you could. Uh, present it each time and layer it, um, but as a drink as a whole, um, you wouldn't need to do that. So now we've got the storm brewing, so let's uh, give it a quick stir and we're gonna give it a little bit of a taste. So, nice fancy uh, spoon we've got there. So you probably could actually drink it with the bourbon, with the, um, the rum on top. top. I don't think you would. I, I think, I think you're yeah. just gonna get a sip of, I mean, if you like just straight cracking, then you just get that, but I think mixed in is probably better. I mean, try it both ways. Try it for yourself. So. Mm. And obviously we were using um, Mondeberg ginger rum, or ginger beer, um, to, to go with it, which is a very nice ginger beer. Mm. You can just use any ginger beer. Um, I can smell the smell the lime and taste mm. the lime, um, but that ginger definitely does cut through, especially yeah. with um, with the Bundaberg. Um, and then the, obviously any dark crack or any dark spice rum would yeah. work. Um, we chose crack, and I think mainly because the bottle is cool. It is um, a cool bottle, uh, but yes. also because it, it it does have that that flavor profile that goes well with the ginger beer. Yeah, I think that like on taste that you can taste the ginger beer as well. Like yeah, if you this is one of those ones where like sometimes there's ingredients where you don't need to spend much money because you're not really going to taste them. This is one where I'd say it's worth it to if you can afford a slightly nicer ginger beer, then go for it because it's essentially spiced rum and ginger beer. That's the core part of the cocktail. So. You're really going to taste that ginger beer coming through. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the, you know, the, the kraken, the spices within the kraken mm. kind of play really nicely within that ginger beer yeah. because you're not getting too much, um, like they're, they're all playing nicely together, not overwhelming or... or, or um, yeah, it's very blended into sort of one consistent flavour. Yeah. Rather than sort of getting like ginger beer then rum. You sort of, yeah. They sort of flow nicely into each other. And, and I think that, yeah, with, with, the, with the lime, definitely not overpowering. Um, uh, yeah, the lines are just there to balance it out and give it a little bit more freshness. Yeah. 
And that's our uh, storm brewing for Obscurio. So make sure we're going to be playing that um, on stream. Um, so we are playing that video live on our right here. So you can actually have a look um, and really see um, the drink in action. At the top, we'll add the link to uh, of Obscurio WePlay. And down the bottom, we'll actually have a link to the Teach on Obscurio, where you can learn how to make that. So make sure you get your ingredients um, and drink along with us for our live stream, either watching it as a VOD on YouTube or live on Twitch. We've got our uh, uh, social media links down the bottom, so hit us up um, and join us for a live stream. Thanks everyone, and we'll, Thanks, we'll see you in the video. Enjoy.